Once dropped to the MIDI tools folder within the user library, they should automatically appear in two categories here, generators and transformers. Finally, we have the tilter. And so what the tilter does is it allows me to say, hey, let's make uh, higher notes longer and lower notes shorter. So we can tilt the length in one direction or the other. So now the higher ones are really short or comparatively longer. Those mid ones uh, took some of the length modification because I clicked in the clip to reset the apply cycle a few times. We can also make higher notes uh, higher velocity and lower notes lower or vice versa. And it's relative to the current velocity. If I set it to fixed, then we get a wider range of velocities imposed here. We can also make higher notes more likely and lower notes less likely or vice versa, which again, in a fixed mode might be more apparent. So this is really useful to say, hey, let's just take some of those higher notes and make those ones less likely to play. We've also got a few key range options here. By default, it's basing the highest and lowest value based on the notes present in the clip but we can set it to a full key range or a manual mode where I specify here in these sliders what the minimum and maximum value should be. But in most cases, auto works nicely and you might want to explore the relative or fixed mode with the length that's quite a bit, uh, quite a bit more intense. So those less likely higher notes are now much longer. And by just exploring these generators and transformers, we've landed on some pretty fascinating material that I don't know if I would have created any other way.